I never even knew these existed until about a month ago. I brought one as soon as I saw what it is, and I love it that much. I'm going to be giving away three of these to you guys watching this video. Shout out to Toolspace for partnering with me in this video to give these out to you guys. Even though they have parted with me, I do need to bring up a few problems with this little gadget that I have concerns about. If you are now in the same position that I found myself in a month ago, never even knowing these existed, not even knowing what it is, Practically what they are is a little gadget which has the same mechanism on the end of your impact driver to hold all of your quarter inch hexagon impact drill bits. All the screwdriver bits and drill bits here are mine, but when you do buy this, you get the six different color bit holders and also the carabiner to hold everything in place. Alternatively, you can also slide these key rings out, leaving how many you need in there, or even just putting the key rings on your nail belt if you want one or two, on your keychain, on a bag you carry around site, whatever you want to do with it. This carabiner does have it written on it that is not suitable for climbing. This product is made out of aluminium and that's the first concern I've got with this. It's not heavy duty design. It's more of a quick, cheap make and it's worked for me great for the last few weeks. My co-workers bought one a few months ago. No problems with the structure of it so far. It hasn't dropped any bits just randomly by itself but I have had bits drop out of it for another reason. On Toolspace's website you can buy these for just under $20. That is a trustworthy site you can buy it off but you can also have a look on Amazon, eBay and get it for almost half that price. With that price tag, you can almost imagine that it isn't going to be too durable over a long course of time. But it is almost at that price that if you do get a few months out of it, you're not going to be too annoyed if it breaks on you. As I mentioned, I did have impact bits dropping out of this. And that is when I'm in tight spaces, it's dangling off my nail belt. And I push up against the surface and a wall or a bit of timber presses onto the side and pulls up against my holder to drop your drill bit out. As you can see, if you just press down on one of these here, it's exactly how your drill bit comes out. So you can imagine, if I've got a bit of timber here, I'm going up a ladder, just hits like that, and it's going to drop out. That problem there can be easily fixed, just being careful about where you put it on your nail belt. If you're watching this and you're thinking, all right, what's the point? Why do I need all my drill bits just dangling off my nail belt? Why can't I put them in a pouch? Maybe you're a better person than me. Maybe your nail belt's more organized. But personally, when I have all my impacted bits in a pocket of my nail belt, I'm spending time digging in through this, sorting through impacted bits. I might need to get them out, lay them on the ground, depending on how many I've got in there. And it takes a bit of time trying to dig in to find the right one. That's where this is so handy. It just dangles onto the side of your nail belt, or if you want to eliminate the problem of occasionally dropping one if you get too close to a bit of timber. You can put this whole thing in the pouch of your nail belt, pull the whole thing out at once, and you've got all your bits there. You've got a display of what they are. You can pull them out. You can obviously get multiple ones have every single thing you need just hanging off these. So essentially, it is just a time saver, so you don't need to spend time digging through your nail belt to find those impact bits. You've just got them on you, ready to go. Each one of these little holders are capable of holding weight up to 500 grams. That means you can almost put in anything that has that quarter inch hex connection. You can put your spade bits in there if you want, but I would definitely not recommend that. As you can imagine, a sharp spade bit like that dangling close to your leg, you take a step, and you're going to throw this whole thing in the bin. You're going to hate it. You're going to get stabbed by it. Don't put your spade bits in this. This is actually one of the coolest gadgets I've seen that helps out the trade, which is very practical. And on top of that, it is kind of cool just having it dangling off your nail without having your impact bits there. If you do want one of these, you are in luck today because as I said before, I'm going to be giving away three of these. To be eligible to enter, all you're going to have to do is click that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. Let me know how keen you are for one of these, why you want one of these, what trade you are and what you're going to use it for. Any comment at all will be entered into the giveaway, which will be drawn on the 1st of January 2022. There's only going to be one entry per account, no matter how many times you comment. So make sure if you want more chances to win or you want some of your co-workers to win one as well, let them know about it, let them comment down below, and all postage and everything will be paid for internationally and these will arrive at your doorstep. If someone's watching this and you have owned one of these for a little bit longer than a month or two, which I have, please leave a comment down below and let me know what it's like in the long term. As I said, I could imagine these starting to have some problems after a bit of time. So I'll, I'll be reading those comments and really curious to see how they go. Overall, I do love this and I'm super excited using these on sites and it has saved me a lot of time. 